Okay, so today I'm going to be carrying on with my uh, new computer build. So at the moment, all I've got is some fans and I've put the radiator in the side chamber. Now, this has just arrived, so we're going to be doing this live. This was sent to me by ASRock, and it's come from the Netherlands. Okay, so this is the ASRock X470, and we've got the uh, monoblock from EK installed on there already. Now, I went ahead and ordered this motherboard. Oh, it's weighty with that monoblock on there. I ordered this uh, motherboard. Then I looked at a review online. So this is the IO shield that come with the original motherboard. Now I went online and I found, I had a Google for X470 motherboards and there was a couple with the exact same IO as this one. I think it was the uh, ASRock Fatality Gaming K4. I put a picture up on the screen of it. Now I basically emailed their customer service and I said hey uh, I've bought a second hand motherboard uh, this Fatality Gaming you know K4 and it, it's missing the IO shield now I got two emails back one from their technical team basically said yeah great we'll send you one out in the post for free and one from their sales team saying we want to charge you £10 obviously I got it for free which is brilliant so I'm just going to compare them now and see if they line up. Okay, so here's the original one. And it looks like we're going to be good to go. That's an exact, <laughs> exact match. So that fits nicely. Okay, so I'm ready now to install the motherboard. I'm gonna try and do it this way round because I don't really want to lay the case down. Um, yeah, it should be fine actually. And put the motherboard in. It weighs a ton with this monoblock on it anyway. Now, I, one thing I liked about the old Corsair cases is they used to have like a little one of the standoffs would lock into place, so it would kind of hold the motherboard in. Am I missing any standoffs? One. Okay, so that's all I can actually do at the moment. I've got the motherboard in, and I'm very grateful for ASRock's customer support because again, they sent me that out. Uh, even if I had a second-hand motherboard, they were willing to, you know, send out the the I/O shield. Obviously, it was a bit of a fib because I bought my motherboard brand new, and it's a completely different one. But you know. I'm not going to turn it down if it's free. I couldn't find one online and I didn't want to you know, send the motherboard back or anything because I wanted it specifically for this, this monoblock. So um, at the moment, I can't really do much else. I've got my first radiator in so on this side. So at the moment, I can't carry on anymore because I'm waiting for my um, 360 radiator to arrive. Uh, that had to be ordered from EK directly because a lot of the stores at the moment are, are out of stock so I've got the Ryzen 3700X under there at the moment and I've got my pump I've got my pump and res ready to go so I'm waiting on a mount for that and then as soon as that arrives I can you know, mount that wherever that's going to go so thanks for watching I'm going to carry this on when I've received some more parts I'm going to have some more intake fans at the bottom here and I've got a Fantex uh, vertical GPU mount to go here 
hopefully I've got enough clearance. I was thinking of having another slim 360 radiator down here, but I think with fans on, I won't get the clearance for the for the graphics card. So again, if you do need an IO shield, so maybe you've bought one second hand and this has not come in the box. I've done this before, I think with ASUS, and they sent me one out in the post, so just a you know a thought. Cool. Thanks for watching and maybe I'll carry on this uh, you know build log or vlog or whatever you want to call it. Again, there's my radiator there. Fitting snugly in that back chamber. So I did have to modify these front USB ports to get to get this in because it wouldn't wouldn't fit and it's very tight at the top here. But I'm looking forward to putting in my hard tube in so you know come out of there and probably have the radiator at this end the tubes come out of here again I have to draw a plan yet so I don't know how I'm gonna do it but okay right I'm gonna end it here thanks for watching and goodbye